Abby was diagnosed uh, at four and a half with medelloblastoma, which is a type of uh, brain cancer. She had surgery and then 31 doses of high dose radiation and then chemotherapy treatment. So she finished when she was about five and a half. Brain cancer treatment's pretty brutal, as you would expect, I guess, particularly as a parent um, and as a child. Constant hospital visits and the harshness of the treatment is, is quite difficult to watch as a parent. Um, sorry. Um, Medulloblastoma it is a cancer that we've actually been quite successful with cure rates compared to other brain cancers with an overall cure rate of around 70% at five years. The treatment to get that survival is very intense and causes a lot of um, side effects on the children, some of which are permanent. The side effects of treatment have been quite um, pronounced for Abby. She was lucky enough to survive the treatment, but the, the impacts of that treatment now we see, we see every day. Abby struggles. Um, a little bit with some learning, um, with, with some cognitive um, delay. She's building up strength every day. It certainly affected her movement, everything from eyes to ears to growth. She has a, a nightly um, injection of growth hormone. So if we want to change the status quo where children, far too many of them are still dying of brain cancer, then they should, and those that are saved have far too many side effects which impact on quality of life, then we can change that with research. So the drug that we found is called Prexacertib and the way it works is it interferes with the ability of um, the cells to repair the DNA damage which is caused by chemotherapy. Sometimes the chemotherapy or the radiation therapy can damage the cells, then the cells can just fix it and they keep on proliferating and the tumours keep on growing. When we give them this drug Prexacertib at the same time as when they receive chemotherapy, we find that they're not able to repair the DNA and therefore the cells um, undergo cell death. So our whole goal in the research that we do is to find treatments that are not only more effective to cure more patients, but that are safer and will leave them with less side effects. It's been held in three continents. It's been held in, in North America, in Europe, in Germany, and then here in Australia. This is giving children uh, who unfortunately have relapsed with medulloblastoma access to some of the most cutting edge treatments. It's amazing to think that Perth has sort of become one of the global centres of brain cancer research in kids. The discoveries made at the Institute that are now going to clinical trial, just a start I guess of what it means to really reduce that impact of treatment. That's really important to families to really let these kids have a better quality of life post-treatment.